I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Sprints. The purpose is to make quick decisions during the Charleston. There are a couple of reasons why you want to practice making quick decisions like this. One is to play online because you play on a timer in most platforms. Usually seven to 10 seconds you have to make decisions or the game will discard for you or maybe pass your tiles in the Charleston if you're too slow. The other reason to practice making quick decisions is if you ever want to play in a tournament because you play on a timer there too. Typically you have to play 12 minute games because you would have to play four games in about 50 minutes. That turns into about 12 minutes per game. So this is a great way to push yourself to make quick decisions. If you have a set of tiles at home, give it a try. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. We're going to alternate between dealer and non-dealer, so we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14 again. I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. Pair of Souths, one, two, three, four, seven, eight, and Bams with a pair of ones, two, three, six, eight, seven, well, seven dot, the rest are cracks. I would focus on little numbers building around this one. We might be able to play a year hand. Let's pass these three. There's a white dragon. I would keep year tiles here. Here's tiles to pass. East. Year hand, maybe. Let's focus on one through four. Let's pass these three. Focus on year tiles, maybe. Three, four, five, three, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two. I think I would focus on a year hand. Three. <laughs> three, four, six, four, two, three, one, two, three, year tiles. I would focus on year tiles. Okay, there's a west and a flower, and we have tiles we can pass. We got a south and tiles there. We don't need ones. I would pass these three. Lap. Okay, we only need twos, really. The one we can use in a year hand there. So I would probably focus on maybe the concealed hand or north and south with the year. The concealed year hand. I probably would keep the twos and pa uh, discard these. That's not a bad result. We've got tiles to work with. Joker's Dragon, North South, Pung of Five Dots, One, Three, Five, Seven, and Cracks with a pair of fives. I would focus probably on 
north and south with fives or like numbers with fives and pass these three. Okay, we've got a northeast, northeast. We do have a seven there. I would do north and south with fives. No keepers. Flower. Maybe we could switch to a quint. Quint. I think I would since we have a gap with no five bam. No keepers. Let's see. Let's pass these three. No keepers. Two, one, red. No keepers, pass these. We got the five. I probably would keep it as an option for north and south with fives. Pass those or discard those. We're done with the Charleston. I'd force a quint here. There was opportunity for north and south with fives, but we have no five bam. That's a gap. I'd rather play something with no gaps. Maybe discard that first, because we could play one, three, three, five using that if winds don't come in. Really one discard before we have to make a choice, because we could still maybe do north and south with fives. Joker, red and green dragon, northwest, seven, eight, and bams with a pair of sevens, six, seven, nine with a pair of nines, and then we have a five, eight crack. I would build around seven, nine. Maybe big odds. I would probably keep the eights too for seven, eight, nine of some kind. Maybe not the six, plus we need tiles to pass. I think I would pass these three. Focus on seven, eight, nine, or big odds. We got a seven, and we have tiles to pass, so we don't have to pick a hand. Since we have seven, nine, five, seven, nine, I'd focus there. There's a nine, and we have tiles to pass, so we don't have to pick a hand. We have a flower and a nine. We have one tile to pass, so this is when I would whittle down. I would probably let the eights go. Focus on big odds. Now that's risky. Five, seven, seven, nine. I think I would use this maybe five, bam, seven, seven, nine. There's no off suit hand five, seven, nine in each suit. So I probably would use that to pass one of each suit. Here's a five and a nine. Same kind of thing. Five, seven, nine, seven, nine. Five, seven, five, seven, nine, seven, nine. I think I would let the nine crack go and pass across. Five, seven, nine in one suit, I think is where I would focus. There's a six, one, three. I would break these up. Now that is risky. Six, I think I would break this up with a six. For optional cross. And lap or stop, really. Okay, so we end up with seven, nine, five, nine. I would keep all odds, but most likely I would play five, seven, nine in one suit. We could Kong here, Kong here. We got our pair. We just need to build up flowers. Use that for Joker bait and discard those. 
I think that was a pretty good result. Okay. Let's see how things went with the time. I recommend three thresholds when doing sprints. If you are a beginner, give yourself four minutes. If you're an intermediate player, give yourself three minutes and eventually two minutes to make decisions during the Charleston. As you work through these exercises, lower your threshold. When you get to that two minute mark, you could play online or even play in a tournament comfortably. Let's see how I did with the time. My goal is to make decisions in under two minutes. Sprint one, two minutes, one second. Sprint two, four minutes. I think I might have messed up. Let's see. This is messed up. Four minutes? It took me four minutes to do the second one? I don't know. Something doesn't seem right there. If I took four minutes, that's a problem. I need to practice. Okay, and then sprint. Yeah, this is off. That's one, three, and five. Yeah, I messed this up. Okay, so I will time my decision making and put it up in captions. I think the last one was two minutes and 24 seconds. Either way, I went over with probably every one of them, so I need to practice. Sometimes when you get some kooky passes, it's hard to make a decision quickly. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.